Hello. Let's see if I can type hello. 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 Anybody who is joining us. Hello. 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 Hello, it's Phil and Heather, and today is September 3rd, and we are here for our eighth live stream, our eighth bi-weekly live stream, and uh, we've got some good submissions this week, and uh, Heather picked the category, and it is architecture, which I have to Google when I type it in so I can make <laughs> sure I spell it right. So uh, anyway, we're doing architecture today, and... Um, Let's see, do we have any news about anything? Hey, there's Joy. Hello, Joy. How are you this evening? Nice to have you here this week. Hey, there's Heather. Yeah, uh, I, I finally found the stream. <laughs> oh, cool. Hey, and you got your sound turned off. I wonder if they can hear us. Hi, Mike. Hi, Joy. Oh, wait, that's what he said. Hi, Mike. Hmm. All right, so uh, let's see. Last week we talked about, or two weeks ago, I always say last week when we do this thing every two weeks, but last two weeks. Last time. We, yeah, last time. Hey, it's good. That's your high five. Whoop. Ah. Whoop. I'm not falling for it again. Whoop. Nope. Okie dokie. Anyway, last time we talked about uh, uh, the series of Disney videos that we did, and hey, hello, Joe. Wait, I have to type. Oh, Heather has the foot. I have to type a response. Oh, we're going to talk about the oh, foot. Oh, we're going to talk about the foot? Okay. Yeah. Hello! Uh, anyway, we talked about a series of Disney videos that uh, we were running, and man, they did not do good. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them got less than 200 views, which you know, this channel is usually somewhere between 500 and 1,000, and sometimes, you know, if things go really well, a lot more than that, but usually, you know, four or 500 is, is kind of bottom anyway those didn't do very good and uh kind of disappointed about that i don't know if it's because nobody cared about disney world or if uh a lot of times the the videos that i do with the xt3 as the camera instead of one of the nikons don't do as well so it might have been a combination of both of those but kind of disappointing but you know what we gonna make pictures uh of what there is to make pictures of and on that week there was disney to make pictures of and we're going back in uh, about... 36 days. Is that right? Mm -hmm. How many days until October the 10th? It's 37 days until then. One of those. 36 or 37 days. I and have uh, hours on mine. Ah, I got you. And so uh, this time I'm going to use the Z50 instead of the X-T3 and do the whole thing over again. So hopefully they'll do as well. Oh, Cuban Rum says he enjoyed the videos. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. Um, so let's talk about... Um, you had a doctor's appointment for your foot this morning? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw uh, the doctor this morning, and if you don't know, I broke my foot in four places six weeks ago. Yeah. Um. So he did an x-ray to see how things were looking. That was right before live stream number five, by yeah. the way. She was 45 minutes after her foot was broken in four places, and we went live, and she handled it like it was nothing. Yeah. But it was hurt. Anyway, sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. Yeah, so he took some x-rays and said they are healing up great. So um, right now I don't have to be in the boot if I'm at home, but I have to be wearing tennis shoes. Um, if we go out, I have to be in the boot. Uh, in a couple more weeks, I don't have to be in the boot when we go out anymore, but I always have to be in closed-toed shoes, tennis shoes, um, for the next four to six weeks. So, can you do laundry? Yeah. You can? Hey, Phil, doesn't, <laughs> Phil doesn't have to do my laundry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind doing mine. I, I mean, I don't mind doing yours. I've been feeding the dog, which is really her thing. Uh, the dishes. Well, the dishes is kind of... We kinda, share. That's kind of everybody's chore, but uh, the dog is definitely your chore. Yeah. But, anyway, so... Um, so Disney didn't do too good. That's uh, a bummer. And your foot's getting better, so that's great. I'm in a tennis shoe right now. In a tennis shoe right now. The stinky. The boot. The boot of stinkiness. Oh, it smells like a dead person. It smells like a thousand rotten. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. <laughs> I'm not sure how that smells. But, Not good. Uh, <laughs> 
But uh, let's see. What else can we talk about? We don't have uh, any new thank yous. Thank you to everyone who sent pictures in. Uh, so that is a thank you. And, we, and there's no channel of the week this week. So there's that. I've been going crazy uh, recently with the the Russian Helios 44-2 lens. I now have two of them. The, the other one finally arrived from the United States. And uh, it, it was showing some weird spots in the some weird dots in the Randy center. realized that you got yeah, a haircut. I, I needed it so bad. Thank you, Randy. I got it. I got it yesterday. I try to get one two or three times a year, whether I need them or not. Mm -hmm. And um, anyway, uh, I, I took the lens apart. I, I took there's only four elements in the lens, and I took all four elements out and cleaned them and put the lens back together, and it still works. So that's uh, crazy. And I've been doing. I, I think we have. You know, we've got videos all the way done all the way until October the yeah. 9th or 12th. There might be four videos that have the Helios in it. Well, there's two specifically Helios videos, and then there's the one where you're doing door pictures has Helios, and I think that's it, right? No, the one with the, um, oh, maybe you put it in the other video, your architecture picture. Yes, that's in the, okay. that's in the, yeah. So there's three videos with the, with the crazy Helios lens. I thought his head looked smaller now. It's the uh, same size. You know, and <laughs> my head is giant size. Uh, as Heather had to make longer elastic bands on my mask to wear to Disney World. Otherwise, my ears went like this. But uh, let's see. What else do we have to talk about? Anything? Oh, let's talk about... Um, let's talk about David's live stream coming up this coming Tuesday, September the 8th. David has... Uh, he has a fantastic uh subject which he's going to get so many pictures i'm going to i'm going to try just to send two or three uh because he's going to get a billion pictures for this one his challenge is birds and and uh you know not i haven't ever done a a, a bird photography challenge because i thought you know gosh it, it sometimes you you need a a really big telephoto lens to do that and not everybody has one of those but the people that do have those they shoot all the time so He's going to be getting a bunch of pictures, and it's going to be good. If you're a bird photographer or if you want to give it a shot, uh, make a picture and send it to gpstreamphotos at gmail.com, and he goes live this coming Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. So our, uh, our challenge was architecture. Heather came up with that, and um, that's kind of a, I think that's kind of a tough one. Or it can be really easy, you know, just go take a picture of a doorknob. Um, the, our, our challenge for two weeks from now is going to be a little bit tougher. So we'll talk about that later. Have you ever, you, you already know about, the, have you ever done one of those? So it's, we're going we're gonna to step it up a notch uh, for, for two weeks from now. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the photos for this week are right, have I missed anything oh let's wait a minute I want to do this what is this? this is oh. this is a, a video of a, a painted lady butterfly on one of our Mexican sunflowers and this is made with the Helios uh, 44-2 58 millimeter lens with an extension tube so thought I'd show you all that there's I've finished a video which has a, a lot of pictures just this morning and uploaded it in the meantime, let's look over here. Here are the pictures. Oh, bless you. You okay? Excuse me. Yeah, I'm okay. All right. And you know what I need to get? I need to get the email up. No new pictures. So the last pictures came in today at 3.06. I'll wait until, I'll wait until 5.30 on uh, show day to import the pictures. Because once you import them, um, you have to start completely over if you get another picture because wh what this is showing me is the latest import and if I go to look at it another way it'll it'll be broken down by the days these pictures were made and they're not made on the same day so anyway no new pictures all right you ready to start yeah y'all ready to start any, any comments coming in uh, Joe said Randy oh, no. was a barber for 48 tears yeah and Joe hasn't had a haircut in 28 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. 
Oh, TV's here. Hey, TV. Hey, <laughs> Green Room's going to capture a Blue Jay because I can't take a picture of a Blue Jay if one lands on my lens. Peter says his first SLR is a Russian Zenit, Zenit. with the with the fifty eight lens. Yeah, that uh, I believe that is the Helios forty four hyphen two. Or you know, they, there was forty four hyphen M. There was a bunch of different versions of it, but they all do the. But apparently, the forty four hyphen two does the best. That's cool. His first SLR was the camera with that. That is awesome. Uh, very nice feel. Hello TV. Oh wait a minute. I have to type hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, there's my hello. If you guys did a bird contest, it would all be blue jay. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> it would be. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. All right, let's see here. Let's get to that, and we'll get to that. And y'all ready? Pictures. Here we go. All right. Oh, I messed oh. it up already. <laughs> yeah. I did it again. I do that every time. Okay, so this is Thomas Millard, and I think Thomas sent in a lot, and I appreciate it because um, this one was a little bit more uh, difficult or a little bit more daunting. Less, less people sent in pictures, so the fact that Thomas sent in a lot is kind of helpful so we could have a good number. So, I think it, yeah, this yeah. one's Texas City. This is Texas City, Texas. And I guess that's the... Is that the sun or the moon? What do you think, honey? Um, well, based on... I guess it's the sun. Yeah, I think it might be the sun, just based on the low aperture, the low ISO, and a relatively high shutter speed. It wouldn't have been taken at dark. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, it's very orange, and you don't see any of the patterns that you see on the moon. On, on a, yeah. on, but the focus is is closer. Right. I don't know if that's the sun or the moon, but it's a cool picture. I like the shooting because you can see over here, you can see some more of these things that they're using. And it looks like it looks like somebody's drinking a carton of milk. Yeah, uh, that's exactly what I thought too. Yeah. <laughs> but I really like the looking through two of these thingy bobs. Um. And I like the purple and blue in the sky. I don't know who makes a 140 to 400 lens, what camera system that's for. Let's see if he says anything about what camera system he's using. Sigma. Sigma makes one. Ah, look at you, the Googler. Uh, that's a 120. Well, it came up. Oh, uh, Fuji. Fuji. Fuji has one. Fuji makes a 140 to 400? I had no idea. Oh, no, that's a... I think that's a... Um, how old is that article? 2014, so oh. six years. Okay. Cool. Had no idea. All right. Cool, cool picture. Thank you, Thomas. Moving along. This is Thomas again. PPTP. Let's see here. This is... Marfa, Texas, and I like the. I guess they're they're illuminated from the inside, and you can see the lower half of them has twice as much canvas, so it's you. So it's a, it's darker, but the lights are probably down low. I would think. Look, it's a sixty-eight second exposure, and like oh, we yeah. saw earlier, the stars. Yeah, up. yeah. So you can see the stars, but with at sixty-eight seconds, they're they've got a little light trail almost behind them. Yeah. But that's really cool. Yeah, I like that's, it. That's really cool. When I was on the Boy Sprouts one year, we made uh, TPs like that, and and we sewed uh, around the holes where the ropes would go at the bottom to oh, hold yeah. them down. And it was uh, we it set that thing up over. Um, we set those TPs up at the Boy Scout Jamboree, which is over where the river park is now. Oh. Uh, anyway, that was a long time ago. Cool. Thank you, Thomas. All right, here's Thomas again. Now, is the, we look Heather and I were looking at this earlier, and is that the Prada shoes? And if so, is that really a Prada store out in the middle of nowhere like that? It's cool, whatever it is. But now, it's a permanent sculpture art installation by artists. You are the Googler. <laughs> I'm the best Googler. You are the best Googler. 
It's it looks like a Prada store. Like it that looks like the Prada logo. Well, whatever it is. But, it's, and it has the shoes inside. Look. Okay. It, it is a Prada store. The Devil Wears Prada in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of the desert. That's cool. Thank you, Thomas. Yeah, I like this quite a bit. All right, Mike Mitchum. We shrink his down a little bit. His pictures come in small, and if you leave them filling the screen, then they look all pixelated. But this is Mike Mitchum. It's a cute little outhouse. Yeah. Let me see. He's, he wrote in his thing where it is. Oops, I'm on the wrong page. Essential Southern Architecture, he calls this one. Shot at a sunflower farm near Rutledge, Georgia. Ah, that, that makes ex sense. That explains that. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Southern Architecture. Oops, I messed it up again. All right, let's see what we got here. This is Peter. Let me find his email. Uh, I think this is the one where he said he cheated. Yeah, he, I didn't... I didn't know what this was earlier it, it, it until looks, you... It looks cool. It, uh, it looks he like... says, I cheated. Stump of a cutout magnolia tree. But I really like the light on it. You know, it's yeah. backlit, so you can see the bright light around the edges, and it's kind of silhouetted here, and the shadows are cool. I, I like this a lot. It almost looks... Uh, of course, we've been watching a lot of Star Trek lately, so I was going to say it almost looks like something out of Star Trek. Well, I was going to say it looked like stalagmites in a cave, yeah. so... <laughs> yeah, kind of so. Very cool. Let's see. What do you shoot that with? A 7300. I'm not sure what camera. All right. Thank you, Peter. Yes, thank you. Very cool. This is Thomas again. I love the color in this. Did he say, well, you're pulling it up. I was going to say, did he say where this is shot? Because it is very cute. Uh, yeah, let me, let me find it. He did, he did, but I need to find it first before I can... Oh, Gal Galveston. Galveston, Texas. I like the, the aspect ratio of it. It kind of, it, um, it hides a lot of the subject and kind of makes it more interesting that way. It's, it's kind of yeah. neat. Yeah. I like the color a lot. Very cool. Yeah. Or warm. Or? Yeah. It's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Thomas. All right, this is another Thomas. What kind of flower did you think that was, Heather? I thought it might be blue bonnets. Oops, I am struggling over here. Because that's a Texas thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the blue bonnet is the state flower of Texas. Yeah, it is. Inde look at this. I, I'm looking for the description, and it's Independence, Texas, and it's written right on <laughs> the side of this building. Oh, Joy says it is blue bonnets. I thought so. Okay. I wonder what the orange flowers are. I don't know. I wonder like, if those are orange blue bonnets. Mm, probably Ar not. Orange bonnets? Uh, it looks like it's an old saloon or something. Yeah, but it's... Look at the Christmas it's lights. Got, it's got icicle <laughs> lights on it. I, mean, I don't imagine you get a lot of icicles in Independence, Texas. Yeah, probably not. It's cool. It's shot with a really wide lens of 10 to 24 at 16.6. Yeah. Which that... Go ahead. Um, I was going to say, does that mean it's a Fuji? Because it does the point. Uh, I think some like I think the newer Z series lenses do points, but oh, okay. the the fact that it says XF, yeah, that, that that's the key. That's a oh. Fuji lens. Go ahead. Joy said Indian paintbrush. Is that the other oh, I flower? Wonder, that might be the orange flower. Yep, yep. it is. Man, look good at good job, good Joy. Good job, man. I'm telling you what, Joy is the idea of flowers. All right, thank you, Thomas. Here is another of Thomas. This, 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 this. I really like this one. Yeah, I like the the uh, the warm colors coming out the window. This is Palduro. Am I saying that right? Palduro Canyon, Texas. But I like the uh, the the warm color of the lights coming from the inside. Joy used to live in Texas. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> well, that explains a lot. And, yeah. and I like the 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 cool blues on the outside. The the combination of those. You know, like. I think I may have mentioned yeah. this in, in uh, the live stream two weeks ago. Um, but one of my photography heroes is Adam Gibbs, and he is always happy if he can get 
both warm and cool tones in mm -hmm. the same image and and Thomas has done this here I like are yeah. you trying to point out this light yeah do you I, I mean with the way it's shining here it almost makes me think that lights coming from over here yeah it might be I don't know if there's another one of these brick thingies or rock thingies over here or if that's a light maybe that post has a light in it oh well yeah good good call yeah the Smoky Mountains but, yeah. but where not, was this this is Paldo. a canyon yeah. I, it looked just like a canyon very cool 17 to 40 all right what's next all right now Heather looked at this and said that's got to be Paris Texas and we believe that she is correct this is another one of Thomas's oh I messed it up again over here <laughs> I keep accidentally hitting enter when I'm scrolling through these Paris, yep. Paris, Paris Texas, Texas. Oh, enjoy uh, it is <laughs> and I messed this up too didn't I Paris Texas I like the they've got a little uh, Eiffel Tower uh, with, the cowboy with a cowboy. giant cowboy hat on the top yeah it's really cool it looks like are these do you think these are lights, a light? so I'd like to see another shot of it at night yeah uh, although it couldn't match the lighting of the of the actual Eiffel Tower but that is that's pretty neat. Yeah, that's very, very cool. I like this shot, though. Yeah, the clouds are nice. Yeah. And I like that, that you can see the state of Texas in the foreground. That's cool. Mm-hmm. That bright red hat up top. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Thanks, Thomas. All right, here is Bill Fouth. And let me find his email. Bill got his in at the very last minute. And he says, sorry for the delay. For the delay, COVID got me a couple of weeks ago and no strength. So we wish you a speedy recovery from that. I delayed sending these real estate shots in hope in hopes of finding a few architecture picks, but now too tired. These will have to do. Enjoy your show and I'm envious of the target rich environment. The Tri-State Arbor sounds crazy, but the beach gets boring very quickly. I can see that, especially after the hurricane stripped most things away. Nothing to anchor a shot with shooting over the water. Canon's 5D Mark IV has a built-in intervalometer, while surprisingly their flagship 1DX3 does not. So I use the former for all of my LE, which I guess is long exposure stuff. I use Canon's 17mm tilt shift lens to help keep those lines square. You know how I'm about square buildings. Yes, I do. All right, so uh, this is number one, and number one is the 5D Mark IV with the 17mm tilt shift at oh. F13. ISO 50 with the Lee Super Stopper, which I, I, I guess I think the Lee Big Stopper is 10 stops, so the Super Stopper might be 15 stops. Google Lee Super Stopper. Uh, five minute exposure. So the, he said the clouds weren't moving very quickly, but it's a beautiful, beautiful well, photograph. I noticed it because this boat, obviously, it's rocking on the water. Yeah. And I, when we looked at it earlier, I was like, what happened to the boat? Well,. Yeah. Rockety, rockety. Uh, 15 stops. Yeah, so the, the super stopper is 15 stops. How about that? The, the big stopper is 10, and there's they got some other stoppers. But, wow, 15 stops and 300 seconds, a.k.a. 5 minutes. That is super low ISO Yeah. Um, for that shot. It's beautiful. I like, I like the colors. I, I like, look how smooth the water is with the five minute exposure and the reflections of the building that's exactly what i was looking at really cool thanks bill hope you feel better soon richard young in the house let's see if i can find his email his is pretty recent i believe all right this is richard young number two he says architecture is not always about big buildings and i often like to photograph smaller buildings sometimes in their own landscapes please feel free to choose i choose them all richard <laughs> you know, hey, speaking of uh, small buildings, we were at a place near the Nickajack Dam. There's a cave over there, and we drove through the parking lot, and there was a small brick building. It, it was smaller than an outhouse. It was like yeah. a, it had stored electronics or something in it, and I wanted to take a picture of it, but it had too much clutter in front of it. I was going to use that as my architecture picture. Anyway, Richard Young number two. This is Cape uh, Capel. Keurig, <laughs> say that for me. Capel Keurig? I don't know. Okay. It's in North Wales, Great Britain. I spent a lot of my younger years in the mountains of North Wales. It can be a bleak place in the middle of winter, and this shot, for me, speaks of how cold and damp and desolate the mountains can be in the winter. Beautiful, too. 
I agree. Made it with a D7100 at 1 30th, F7.1 ISO 320 at 10 millimeters on the 10 to 24. And he's got his signature Richard Young uh, dark top layer which so which good. just and, and you know he's got it where it, it rolls down to match the angle of this mountain yeah. which i think is really is really cool a lot of a lot of layers in this yeah a lot of layers really pretty yeah. just a small little building i like you can see the texture in it like it's an old stone building or something yeah yeah that's yeah, really cool yeah i like this a lot all right thank you richard and this is Peter. Peter sent in two. Did we already look at, I think we already looked at one of Peter's. Peter's, oh. oh yeah, the tree. Yeah, the one where he said he cheated. Okay, this is his neighbor's house with a D7000. Oh. D or D700, sorry, excuse me. D700, that's beautiful. Look at the snow. Well, that is a awesome old tree. Look how, I bet you couldn't put your arms halfway mm -hmm. around that thing. Yeah, but it's beautiful. The snow is pretty. I, I say if it has to be so like a certain temperature outside, if it has to be that cold, I want snow. Yeah, so we can fall down and break your foot. No, so I can <laughs> see how pretty it is. I've yeah. never broken my foot in snow. Okay, well, there's always this winter. <laughs> Wait, what are people saying? Um, Joy is saying lots of stuff. Yeah, Joy's being get well soon. Nice and long white. exposure. Great black and white. Yeah, I agree with all that stuff. Joy knows her birds and flowers. I agree with that, too. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Peter. And this... This is so cool. Look, I, you know, it's just... It's like a... I guess these are longhorns. Are these longhorns? Yeah. And they're just uh, coming right at him. Yeah. In this old... It uh, looks like... I mean, you it's know... It's a church. Like, yeah. And yeah. it looks like the, the majority of the roof is missing, or is it supposed to be open air? No, it's gone. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. I like the... Uh, Let's see what his thing the, says. The detail in the building. You can see how old it is. And this tree growing right in the front door. Okay. It's like the Texas version of the old churches in Cades Cove. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Except for it's not sitting up on rocks. Yeah. This is... La, La Gloria. La, La Gloria, Texas. I like it. I, you know, I would like it without the Longhorns, but the three Longhorns walking yeah. right at him make it for me. Yeah. I mean, that right there is... The, the, this is really cool. The sky is cool. The colors are cool. This it takes it to another level yeah. for, for me. Which makes me wonder, is it out in the pasture somewhere? I have to be. Could, yeah, it could be. This is another uh, with the ultra-wide. The XF 10 to 24. It's optically image stabilized. Mm. Does not have linear motors, and is not weather sealed. I'm trying to learn my, always showing off, knowing my uh, Fuji, <laughs> my, my Fuji letters. Like I said, the cows probably think he has food. <laughs> they may be so. <laughs> he may be. Nah, he's not food. They're herbivores. Yeah. All right, we're back to Richard Young. Look at this. I mean, that look at the so mountains and cool. the trees and the and you know he just used a ton of foreground, which I probably would never have thought to do. Let's see where that's at. And it looks like a. It looks like he's got it in a sixteen by nine aspect ratio, which is you know let's just uh, full screen it. Yeah. So we can fill up the whole frame. 16 by 9 is, you know, if you're presenting stuff to people on YouTube, 16 by 9 is the best way to do it because it fits the screen. Why can I not find it? There he is. What number is that? That is number four. You clicked on TV's email. Oopsie. <clears throat> Okay, so this is St. Ma Margareth Church. Mar Margareth. That's in Bavaria, Germany, where the Volkswagens come from. Oh, no. Might be where the BMWs come from. I don't know. It's cool. I found this beautiful little church in the middle of nowhere. He shot it with a D7100 at 180th F9 ISO 160 at 18 millimeters on the 10 to 24. 
Yeah, this is fantastic. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'll, you know, the, the, the church clears the trees right here in this notch. Yeah. Which I think is just right. And, you know, I like all these mountains in the background. Some of them snow-capped. You got the uh, trademarked Richard Young dark area of the sky, and once again it follows the line of the mountain. Mm-hmm. You know, I wonder what color that church is, because in black and white it's just, you know, so bright against the, but mm -hmm. not too bright against the mountains. It just it makes me think it's kind of a tan color. Yeah. With white trim around, but who knows? Yeah. It doesn't matter. It looks great in black yeah. and white. Oh, it looks fantastic in black and white. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Richard. Here is Bill Fouth. Another extremely long exposure. This one's only a minute. And uh, let's see where, where this is. All right. Number two. This is another uh, 5D Mark IV with the 17 millimeter tilt shift at F4 ISO 100. One minute. Building backlit by the moon. Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. And you can see, uh, this is the one we were looking at earlier, which you can see some stars, and there are because it's a minute exposure. You're going to get a little bit of light trails. One moment. Stand by. Hello, daughter. Hey, I'm in the middle of a live stream. Are you okay? Which one? Western Kentucky has said yes to Casey. Okay, keep waiting for Knoxville, baby. <laughs> oh, all right. I love you. Gotta go. Okay, bye, honey. Can they hear us? Yeah. So, uh, you just heard it here, folks. Casey got accepted to her first college. All right. Congratulations, Casey. And uh, did I read the email about this? Yes, I did. Yeah. I don't. Do you see the moon? No. Well, he said it's backlit, so it's got to be behind the building, right? Yeah. Like the old Jeep over here. Oh, I wonder if that's that's not Bill's old Jeep. I don't think he's he had the the body style that you couldn't get in four doors converted to four doors, and it was about that color. But it was well, I don't know if that's green or not. Anyway, the, the photograph is beautiful. That that much I can tell you for sure. I love the, and this is another with, with warm colors and cool colors in the same shot. So, very nice. Thank you, Bill. Richard Young. This is number one. This was beside a graveyard at a church in the Scottish Highlands. I really like the white cross on the door and the wheelbarrow suggests that the building belongs to the grave digger. Oh, that's... That's uh, brilliant. That's awesome. The 7100 F8 at 10 millimeters with the 10 to 24. And this, the aspect ratio on this is even wider than 16 by 9. This might be 16 by 7 right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's probably 16 by 7, which is kind of like a standard aspect ratio for a panorama. Yep. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I like it. How'd you like to live in a place that small? I would not. <laughs> well, you look how close he is to, to his work site. Oh, I didn't even notice yeah, that. Yeah, that's the, that's the graveyard right there. This has been dug out, so the, I, I guess that's a big hill right there, wouldn't you say? Yeah, probably. So this is to let the water flow to the other side of the road there, Yeah. looks like. Very cool. Thank you, Richard. All right. This is cool. We looked at this earlier. What did you say about this? I can't remember. I just said I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. The, I love the colors in the sky. And then yeah. the blades of grass that are, you know, they're yellow that like they're like they're dying almost. But this is Texas City, Texas, and it looks like this must be the top of a peak. There's a park bench facing the opposite direction of this observation platform, so there must be something to see on both sides of this hill. Yeah, it, it 
it kind of reminds me of the Hawassi Wildlife Refuge. Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, where you can go up and see the Sandhill Cranes, and it, there's a gazebo there with a with a central hub to it. It looks like this one has two floors, yeah. maybe. Mm -hmm. It's like a it's like a lighthouse with no water. Yeah. It's pretty though. At least and, I assume there's no water. Yeah, and I'll, there's there's really pretty uh, purple, and the clouds have a lot of nice textures. And did you talk about the the grass? Yeah. 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 I was looking for the email. Okay, so this is another one with the with the ten to twenty four ultra wide for the Fuji X system, one fifteenth of a second f five. Very nice, thank you, Thomas. Mike Mitchum, we're gonna make that one hundred percent. I like the clouds in this. Yeah, they me had, too. Um, it's a cool building. It reminds me of the USA Pavilion at um, Epcot. Well, you know what I notice about it? What's that? I know that Mike lives in Georgia, so I know from that, and because I'm a Georgia grad, that that's the seal of the state of Georgia right there. Ah, I took your picture uh, under that yep. when you when you graduated from UGA Masters. Yep. Yep. That's the, what do they call that? The gate, the arch, the arch. The arch. Yeah. It's not very impressive, but it's really cool. The arch. You know, it's just made out of some old light posts. It's incredibly impressive. It's very impressive. It's the most impressive piece of architecture in the history of that location. <laughs> okay, like so this, lot, this, <laughs> this is the Madison Morgan County, Georgia Courthouse. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty. I like the uh, I like the the not overdone colors in this. Yeah. It kind of uh, kind of adds something to it. Oh, Cuban Rum says he will be in and out. He's hosting a Zoom meeting for his camera yeah. club. Yeah, hey, I appreciate you getting here as much as you did. You, that's very nice. Thank you, Cuban Rum. Yeah, yeah he, the he, clouds. He are told super me when cool. he sent his pictures in that he uh, he had to host a Zoom meeting. I still think we should just link them and Cuban Rum's. Um, Zoom meeting should hang out with us for the whole life. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of selfish, isn't it? Okay. All right, zoom out. There we go. All right, this is Dana Garrett. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this has to be an HDR. Uh, it's a 50 50 shot, and I picked the wrong one. Okay, so this is, uh, well, it doesn't say where it's at, but it's cool. It's made with a D500 with the Nikkor 10 to 20 uh, DX lens at 10 millimeters. And look at the, is, is that deep or is that just like, you know what I mean? Is that a pond or is that a, a fountain? It's a fountain. It's is it flowing from here to here? Yeah, because see, there's like a little waterfall here. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty. It, it, it makes for nice um, nice colors. One six fortieth. Oh, Joy's asking how I, why I think it's an HDR. Well. Can I? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so it says that it's one six fortieth of a second up here. And HDRs will give you some value there, but it's it's not right because it's you know several different exposures. But I see that the clouds um, are definitely a long exposure because we can see the movement in them. And then if you look at the um, waterfall, like underneath the elephant ear plants, that's not um, that's obviously not a long exposure of that, but it is of the clouds, which makes me think that's that it's um, at least a couple different exposures blended to make an HDR. I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's pretty. Good job, Dana. Good job, Heather. <laughs> Mike Mitchum. Let's see what Mike's got to say about this one. Not that one. Not that one. Downtown Buckhead, Georgia, in Morgan County. Oh. Notice the gas pump on the street in the lower left corner. Oh, yeah, look at How it. How about that? There's a gas That's station cool. 
with it's really interesting colors in in those bricks these bricks here kind of remind me of the bricks on our house yeah they do we have weird uh, light colored bricks on the part of the house that's brick there's four different colors of brick here yeah <laughs> or di four different types <laughs> might be five because yeah. there's two in this at least oh yeah it's cool yeah i like it i like the old um doors on that mm -hmm. i like doors and the broken one is it are, broken are they, are they broken oh, or is it it might just be a different type yeah. of material yeah cool oops all right thank you mr mike Here's another one of Mike's. Let's see if we can figure out which one that is. Number one, if that helps. It does. All right. This is the Hunter House in Madison, Georgia, built in 1883. I just got a feeling that's been added to the National Register of Historic Places. Yeah. Wow, it looks in really good shape to be all wooden and that old. Yeah, they've got they've got a crew working on yeah, keeping that. Yeah, constantly painting that bad boy. Yeah. Keeping it from falling into the earth. Yeah, it's really pretty. It is pretty. You Very don't see nice. that detail work anymore mm -hmm. on. Look at that porch. Yeah. You could put rocking chairs all over the place. I love wraparound porches. Oh, it's a bed and breakfast. Ah, and it is in the register. He says, very cool. Oh, Joy uh, was asking Mike where the previous shot was at. And it's my fault that I've... I've oh, it said in his email, it was which, like downtown um, Tavison, Morgan County, Georgia. Oh, downtown Buckhead. Downtown Buckhead, Georgia, and Morgan County is where it was, Joy. All right, next and moving on. Ha ha, I saw that one just a minute ago. This is... The Doughboy. The Doughboy, dedicated in 1930 to the veterans of World War I in the front of the Morgan County, Georgia courthouse. So this statue is one that is has no threat of being removed, I wouldn't think. No. Very cool. It's an interesting... I wonder what it's made out of. The, 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 yeah. The, the whiteness... It doesn't look like any statue we've ever seen before. Yeah, and it's weird that it's just weathering from this side. Yeah. You see? I wonder, is it marble or something? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look like it's made well, of steel. Well, here, the dough boy. Let me oh, just look, oh, the let Googler. Go Google it. The Googler is, is loose. I, mean, I probably need to make it. There we go. So it's not... Spirit of the American Doughboy. It says in stone. Where did you? In oh, in stone. Wonder what kind of stone. It looks tall. Yeah. Materials. Concrete, stone, and marble. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you, Mike. This covered bridge is Joseph. Or Joe. Yeah. Yeah, it should be under Joe. All right, image three is a covered bridge over on the other side of town. So what town is it? Architecture It's outside of my wheelhouse, but I feel I'm submitting some nice shots. Me too. One is from last fall and the other two are from today. I actually had a few from today, but limit three and all. Uh, we we try to limit to three, but we, we'll take 10, 15, whatever you want to see. <laughs> it's cool. Architecture is difficult to find in town, but I figured I'd oh, walk. Oh, Manchester, through. Connecticut. Manchester, Connecticut. Very cool. All right. Image three is a covered bridge over on the other side of Manchester, Connecticut, taking on a bright autumn day and the bright and that orange color is just inundating the scene. Can, can you guess what I like the best? Uh, the reflections? The moss. Oh, the moss on the roof. Yes, I should have gotten that. Sorry. <laughs> I, I like all the, yeah. all the various colors. 
it's cool. Or I should say it's warm. Yeah, I like I like the moss. Mm. Very nice. Thank you, Joe. D5500 with the 70 to 300 lens, he says. I like the frame. <laughs> Excuse frame. me. You okay? Yeah, I'm struggling. Vince Brasher. Is Vince a first time caller? Uh, I think he might be. Hit enter. Nope. Nope. He did, he black, did and black, black and white too. All right. Thank you, Vince. He says, I really love this topic, so thanks, Heather, for picking it. But with this photo, you might have to rotate it all four ways because I've lost track of which way is up. <laughs> this is an office tower in Sacramento, California with the Z6 and the 24 to 70 f2.8 at 24 millimeters. It's very cool. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like how this blue here, and I don't know if that's a stairwell or an elevator shaft or just office buildings. or all, You can see the the sky reflected in it so the blue yeah. matches the sky and also in some of these windows yeah it's really cool and then you can see the shadows like angling down you see what I mean of this yeah you see the sh yeah it's like it's it's like this light here is reflected off the glass so it's not that this is a shadow it's just that this is reflecting less light than this maybe what do you think oh I just I thought that the Sun was coming through oh okay I see what you're saying because yeah you're right because see this light has to has the shadow in this at the same angle I bet it is I mean, there must be a window on this side and the lights going right through yeah it's really neat it's neato mosquito office tower in Sacramento California mm. All right, thank you, Vince. That is nice. Mike Mitchum, this is, I think this is Morgan. The library. Yeah, yeah, this is Morgan County as well, if I remember correctly. This is the Morgan County, Georgia Cultural Center, built in 1895 as an elementary school and later used as a library. It's really oh, cool. Oh, it was an elementary school? Yeah. That's so cool. Is that is that it in your No, book? I was, that's the Smithsonian. Yeah, well, they, it, re, it reminds Heather and me as well, mo mostly the color of the bricks yeah. of one of the buildings on the National Mall of the Smithsonian. Is that, what is that, like the headquarters or something? Yeah, something like that. Let me, uh, Smithsonian... this one it's the smithsonian the castle. smithsonian castle yeah. gateway to the museums it it i mean it's not shaped exactly like it but it has kind of some shapes that are like it and the color is similar so mm -hmm. when we first glanced at it mike we thought it might have been the smithsonian neato thanks mike mm -hmm. thank you i like it oops oh, in out all right this is richard young Number, number five. Number five. This is Ludwig Schaffen, Germany. I wonder if that's Ludwig, Ludwig, like the Ludwig drums. I think I've asked that question before. Uh, I like to photograph contrasting themes. Here, the brick building with the windows, the ugliness of the wall that stands in front of it, the tree and the speed camera markings on the road. Ah. Made with a D850 at one-tenth on a tripod, F8, ISO 64 at 35 millimeters on the 24 to 70 f 2.8 your favorite question mark yeah <laughs> i did just make a video talking about how it might be my favorite it's not out yet but it's coming yes yeah. there's um, a lot going on in this picture speed lights is, is that what he said yeah that's speed, what he said a speed line speed line so i guess you maybe uh, maybe those are like rumble strips you hit those and it tells you you know brr, brr, yeah that there's something coming up that you might need to slow down for I like the tree. 
Mm -hmm. That almost looks like scaffolding. Well, that's what I was I was about to say. Is that scaffolding? And then I thought, well, maybe it's like a fire escape. Could be. Could be. Um, it's neato. Whatever yeah, it is. It's neato. All right. Thank you, Richard. All right. Here is Richard Young, number I like, three. I like this one a lot. Ludwig Schaffen, Germany. No need to tell you that this is a derelict building beside a railway line. I like it though. That window was different. Yeah. I like the perspective too. That one has like yeah. wire on it. It looks like they're all protected. These are protected, looks like, by bars, and maybe those bars got messed up, and mm -hmm. so they're protecting it with a screen now. Yeah. Gosh, Phil, quit making it bounce. <laughs> uh, I like the tree leaning over it. Mm -hmm. And the whole, I don't know, the, there's, you know, Richard's photos have these, I did it again, have these layers of, of, of interest yeah. going back. And, they, and the layers seem to go all the way across the frame. It's, it's kind of a neat, a neat way his photos, I got to start looking for stuff like that. That's really ins <laughs> inspirational. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Did he say uh, D850? Yes. With uh, the 14 to 24 ultra wide, and he focus stacked it too. So that's how he's got this perfectly sharp oh, and this perfectly sharp. I wondered sharp. about that. Yeah. 14 to 24 at 18 millimeters. We used the 14 to 24 as a vlogging lens the other day. Yeah. That's a big lens to carry around in a handheld camera for vlogging, but we used it just to do something different. All right, Thomas Miller number 10. Love the colors in that. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about how the truck must be moving. It's a 1 25th of a second uh, exposure and everything is, is um, motion free except the truck appears to have been slowly driving along. Yeah. I really like that. I think that may be my favorite of of the Thomas set. Yeah, and these this is it like it's silos. It's in Devers, Texas. I don't know what these thingies are, but they have a bunch they, of character. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's some sort of food or something stored in there would be my guess. Yeah, but the, you know thinking. the sunset going on and the and the and you know the truck. Every, the truck moving I think adds to it yeah you might think oh that takes away but I think it adds something to the shot and you, you can tell it's bumpy uh, this this uh, place where the truck is driving it looks like a really bumpy road and and I like these telephone poles in the shot because they they show you how tall this mm -hmm. is I mean even though this is in front of it so there could be some perspective making it look taller than it is it's still you can tell how tall it is not to mention there's a pickup truck beside it. Yeah. And it, the, the yeah. colors. Go ahead. It it feels like a early morning on a farm. The, the low-lying fog and... Do you think it's early morning? Well, yeah, I guess, you, yeah. Fog. Yeah, the fog. That does lend itself to a morning shot. Yeah. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Nicely done, Thomas. And this is with the 18 to 55 2.8 F4 kit lens. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Thank you, Thomas. All right, this is Neville. This was the first shot that was sent in for architecture, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he sent this in on August. Oh, well, maybe not. This this came in on August 28th. This is an 18th century farmhouse in Norfolk, in Norfolk England, made with the 18 to 105, which. Uh, I think that is the kit lens that came with my D7000 at 28 millimeters. It's an it's Look really the room. yeah. It's, it's really interesting. And you know, there's fireplaces. Looks like on both sides. Yeah. Uh, looks like two of them over here. Maybe one's in the kitchen. Or maybe wood burning stoves. Yeah. Something. It's neat looking. And look at the unusual looking thingies on the side. <laughs> yeah. And what's this all about? It looks like an old brick fence. Yeah. 
There's some vines growing on it. Mm -hmm. It's a really interesting, uh, interesting architecture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that roof. Yeah. It's so cool. I like it. Thanks, Neville. All right, this is Bill Fouth number three, and if I remember correctly, I think he said this is a drone shot. And I, th I think this had to have been a construction site. All right, DJI Mavic 2 oh. Pro, don't remember the settings, just auto shot in RAW, drone about 20 feet up to capture the sunset through the gutted hotel okay. under repair after Hurricane Michael. Cause Bill lives down in um, Mexico. Mexico Beach, Georgia, and that place Florida. took... Florida. Sorry, Mexico Beach, Florida. Um, and their town took a ton of damage in that hurricane. Yeah. Typically sunset photos from the hotel, but the hotel was stripped and inviting all to see through and through. So that's a really interesting yeah. shot. I like it. Oh, no, it's, a, it's a... Go ahead. Neville was saying the roof is made of reed thatch. Ah, very nice. It's like my sister, Thatch Roof. <laughs> my sister's name is Ruth Thatch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that's very cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. I mean, you know, who would have, just thinking of the idea of shooting a sunset through this building. Yeah. Is, is awesome. And then to go down there with the drone and do it. Yeah. Uh, and do it well. Really nice. Thank you, Bill. Oh, this is me. Oh, look. So I'm goofing around with that crazy old Russian Helios 58mm F2. And we were down trying to take pictures of the brown, not brown footed, just brown booby yeah. that was at Nickajack Dam. And you have to drive to get to the place that Joy helped us uh, find exactly the right place to go, she told Heather. But to get there, you have to drive right past this fireworks store and... I saw it and I said, you know what, I want to take a picture of that, but I want to do it with this 58 millimeter lens. And in order to get the whole thing in the frame, I had to do a pano. So this is a handheld panorama, nine shots of Big Daddy's fireworks. And, you know, there's not a whole lot of interesting architecture going on in this fireworks store, but I love the way this road, the leading lines of this road coming through. And I like the matching colors of the sign over here on the other side of the road to kind of tie this parking lot area in but how about this you in america you can go and get some ice some beer some fireworks and some gas <laughs> sounds like a dangerous <laughs> all, all in one location <laughs> welcome to the south what what could possibly go wrong <laughs> that big daddy's fireworks a non-shot panorama with a lens from 1976 on a nikon z6 all right, TV. I love oh, this, this photo is great. from TV. Okay, this is TV number two, and he doesn't say where this is, but I'm imagining somewhere in Florida or Miami-ish. He made this on D810 with a 24 to 70 f 2.8 Tamron at 1/250th f8. 35 millimeters ISO 400. Hi, Woody. Hey, Woody. Wait, I need to type hello. Done. Oh. Oh, what'd you It's do? in Texas. TV's in Texas? Well, Colin College is in Texas. Oh. And here's the picture of it. So, yeah. Oh, well, Cuban rum's in Miami. TV's yeah. in Texas. I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize. It's hard to keep everybody straight. TV's in Texas. Yes, that makes sense. Very cool. And, I, you know, the, the color of this glass, I just really like it. And the way that it looks like yeah. the, the sun's coming from this direction and uh, is nicely captured. They are serious about not parking on this fire lane, though. Yeah. Yeah, that is nice. Great job. Dexu. Thanks, thanks, TV. All right, George Nagata. Now, George is from Chicago. I try to keep everybody straight, but sometimes I get mixed up because 
doesn't take much to get me confused. Okay, this is a photo of my high school in Chicago, Lakeview wow. High School. It's the oldest high school in the Midwest and one of the oldest buildings in the city of Chicago. It was built in 1874, just three years after the Great Chicago Fire that destroyed all but one building that survived the fire. The building design was castle style, typical of education buildings built in the 1800s and before. He says, I am currently the historian for the school and I'm editor, editor of the alumni newsletter. As a student, we used the basement and floors one through four. There is a fifth and sixth floor, but no one knew how to get to these floors. Recently, a hidden door was found that was removed and replaced with drywall some years back. A hallway and hidden stairwell was found that had not been used in possibly over 70 years. Wow. Buildings like this have many nooks and crannies. The school recently had... 2.5 million in rehab work done and that is when the hidden hallway was found this was the flagship high school in chicago from 1874 to the early 1900s until bigger and more modern buildings were built many famous people graduated from this school i took this photo with the z50 using the f mount 18 to 55 lens attached with a f2z adapter shot at 18 millimeters iso 200 f14 and one three twentieth of a second. Very cool. Yeah, that is, this is that's really cool. And and cool. the and the story about the photo was was really great and added a lot to it. It's 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 nice when you know more about what you're looking at, especially you know for something like this. I mean, if you're looking at a leaf on the ground, you can just talk about how pretty the colors are. But it's nice to know the history of this. Hello, for, uh, hello, uh, Deborah Pan. Let's uh, wait. Let's <laughs> wait a minute. Wait just a minute. <laughs> Got it. All right. Hello. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Thanks, George. Yeah, awesome. this is really cool. Very appreciate it. And look at the the. He said it was castle style. This kind of yeah. The bricks and this area here kind of reminds me of, of oh he of said this. dan is fine we can call him dan ah hello dan all this right cuban rum so no, this is miami sorry cuban rum and and uh, tv getting y'all's locations mixed up because i'm not very smart or i don't have very good memory sometimes okay this is cuban rum number Archi four. architecture number four uh and he is he says, sadly, I have to be hosting another Zoom meeting for my camera club, so I won't be able to make it. We'll try to pop in and out. And he definitely was here for some of it. He's so, commented every now and then yeah, since then. Yeah, so thank you for that. Okay, photo four made with the Nikon Z7 and the 24-70 f2.8s at 24 millimeters f9, ISO 64, and 1 20th. 1000 Museum, Miami, designed by architect Zaha Hadid. Condo start at three and a half million. Whew. I'll take two. Oh, David Beckham has one. And David for 50. Beckham <laughs> just yeah. purchased one for approximately fifty million. Not a typo. That's cool. It to me, it looks like an alien from Star Trek. Yeah. Or something. It, yeah. It is very. Uh, look at uh, each one of these has a balcony. So if you live, if you have this balcony, your balcony is really small. Yeah. Really cool. I wonder if that's so cool. Yeah, look at all the detail from this Z7 image. Yeah, I like this so much. It all, when you zoom in on it like this, it kind of looks like Darth Vader's helmet. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah, look how little that. That's one piece of glass on this one, that on the very top so one, and cool. then this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I may have missed eleven and twelve. So the balconies are way different in size. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool architecture and nicely and interestingly captured. Yeah. Cuban rum. Very good job. All right. All right. Cuban rum number one. Photo number one. Nikon Z7 Tamron 70 to 200 f 2.8 at 200 f 5.6 ISO 64 and 1 6 40th. I did a focus stacking and now that I attach it, I see some artifacts by my name. We'll fix later. This is the Freedom Tower, which is the Ellis Island of the Cuban immigrant community. Oh, that's oh, that's, cool. that's very cool. I was, I was processed in processed that in that building when I came to the United States in 1969. That is awesome. 
I like the Jessica. I can never can't say that word. Can you say juxtaposition for me? Hey, I said it. <laughs> I, I mess it. There's so many of my videos where I say that word and I pronounce it slightly wrong. Um, of the old architecture with modern transmission tower and the new construction in the back. Yeah, I, I love so, stories. So yeah, yeah, new construction in the back, modern transmission tower in the front, and this That's is the Freedom, the Freedom tower. tower. He said, yeah, you can see just the slightest. If you focus stack, and that's why I just try not to focus stack, even though yeah. I don't get all of my picture in focus, is because you get stuff like this, and I'm not good at fixing it. Um, but it's it it does, you know, because this is perfectly in focus, and is so is this, and so is this. Who are we saying hello hi, to? Hi, if I saw. Oh, let me say hi. Mm -hmm. He said it's 4 a.m. in Pakistan. You are up early. I'm having trouble with the typing. <laughs> Hello. All right. Let's see here. That is really cool. I like this a lot, Cuban Room. Mark. All right, architecture number three from Cuban Rum. Another Z7 shot with the Tamron 70 to 200 f 2.8 at 180, 5.6, ISO 64, and 1250th. The Paramount Miami World Center. Miami has some cool buildings. Yeah, yeah. you know, I went to Miami, but I just I didn't go to downtown Miami. I just went because it was a business trip, and I just went to uh, South Beach and stayed. I stayed one night in this hotel. And it had three pools, and I, sw I swam in all three pools. That was my goal. Go to the, go to, <laughs> go to the work meeting and swim in all three po uh, motels or pools at the hotel and the Atlantic Ocean. Mission <laughs> accomplished. Um, you know, this it doesn't show the whole building, and it's it makes it even more interesting. It kind of leaves you yeah. kind of leaves you guessing. Yeah. Uh, what's going on? Lots of cool uh, and interesting balconies all over the place. Yeah. And beautiful blue color. Yeah, that blue glass. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thanks, Cuban Rum. And is that that same building? This from is architecture a number two. Uh, I think this is more than one. This is like three buildings. Yeah, but and this one might be that one. Yeah, I would yeah. say definitely is that one. Concrete uh, jungle the concrete. where dreams are made. <laughs> that's that's New York. I know. <laughs> 70, uh, this is with the Tamron 7200 at 92, 5.6, ISO 64, and 1 800. Yeah, they've got some buildings there. And, you know, these buildings aren't as close together as they look. That compression. But that is that compression he got working. Yeah, that's definitely the same balconies we were zooming on earlier. I like, I like it. It's, it's really cool. And this, this shot right here reminds me... These balconies remind me of this building, but I don't. Maybe it's not the same building, but they they remind me of it. Mm. They got some good balconies in Miami. We should go to Miami. Well, I mean, if we go to Vero Beach, we're only two hours north of it. We can mm. go. Very cool. Thanks, Cuban Rum. David, David. Sailors. Now he made this with his new. Uh, David made this with his new Leica camera and his... No, oh, he said that's not the same building. Ah, okay. Interesting. It's similar balcony, balconies, but yeah, I, I, I can see where you're coming from. Yeah. David made this with... And you're back from your Zoom. With the <laughs> Summicron 23mm F2 on his, on his Leica CL which is an APS-C. This is the, this is the uh, Walnut Street pedestrian bridge. Can you figure out what, can you tell what side that is? It's in the middle. Yeah, it's, it's near the middle. But you know, they, every, you know, they haven't redone the wood on this bridge. Actually, I think this is the ice cream show side. Yeah. Cause that tree. Yeah. The, they, when they redo the wood, it won't cup like this and won't hold the water as well. But right now, after it rains, you can, you can get the reflection in this area cool shot david yeah this is cool david yeah the, we, that bridge is wonderful you know people should come to chattanooga just to walk across that bridge yeah 
It's it's really great. I remember when I was a kid, it was closed, and my parents talking about how it was kind of scary to drive across it in a car. Um, but as a pedestrian bridge, it's 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 really it's completely cool. awesome. Very nice. Thanks, David. Mm -hmm. All right, I love yeah. this. You know, one day we should do uh, we should do a photo challenge on reflections. Oh yeah. Uh, that's not what I've got planned for for this week. <laughs> George Nagata says Chattanooga, here I come. <laughs> <laughs> come on down. Okay, I don't know where that is, but this is with the D500 and the Nikon 16 to 80. Hey. Mike says he's got to go, but he wants to know if the photo challenge is what you told him earlier this week. Uh, yes, yes, it is. It is that. Yeah, definitely a lot warmer than Chicago. Yeah. Okay, okay so don't know where Sorry. this is, but I like the blue of the sky reflected in these windows mm -hmm. mixed with the red lines on the building. I think that's a really cool set of colors. And then this is a, the reflection building is a really modern, modern. building. And then the, the, the building being reflected has a very much older style architecture. Is uh, that yeah. the challenge, architecture? Yeah. So this is really cool. I really, yeah. really like this a lot. Great job. Great job indeed. And I think this, uh, I'm not sure what lens that is. I'm not familiar with the 16 to 80, 2.8 to 4. But it's nice. And it makes a great photo, and so does Dana. Great job. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you. There's Heather Boyd. Hey. Heather Boyd using the one lens to rule them all, the Tamron 18 to 400. On uh, she hijacked my Z50 again. I do that a lot. <laughs> this is the uh, Waterhouse Pavilion, which is part of uh, Plaza. Miller Plaza, and uh, really neat photo. Heather's working on a on a uh, project that she has set out for herself to make pictures of doors and although this one doesn't have any doors in it these are roll-up doors oh okay well in that case i stand corrected so this is part of her doors project and i love the colors of the brick uh mixed with the color of the sky and, and um good job I, I remember when you were making this shot i was making video of you and you seemed really excited yeah about what you were seeing through the evf yeah very cool All right, and this is my favorite photograph of the whole night. It is. I okay. Like, I, I'm, I'm just really Biased. fond. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe so, but I'm just really fond of the James Building. Whenever Heather and I are walking around downtown doing street photography like we like to do from time to time, I'm always super excited about the James Building, but I never thought to photograph it. I always think it's a really cool background for street, street photography or panning blurs. But Heather said, you know what, I'm going to take a picture of it. I rolled her. She was in the wheelchair, and I rolled her. Broad Street has the, the center section, and I rolled her up onto the curb and into the center section in the wheelchair, and she made this shot. And then uh, then the wind started blowing really hard. So she a lot of times these flags will hang down kind of in this area or this area, and you can't see the James Building sign. And so the wind started blowing really hard and this Tennessee, this America flag and this Tennessee flag were blowing straight to the right and she shot again and caught them just right. And then after that, uh, it started pouring rain. So I had to roll Heather for about three and a half blocks in the pouring rain in the wheelchair. So we had, we had us an adventure. This was uh, last Sunday night. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun, very cool picture. And it's this is the the video that we made that day. This picture is the thumbnail for that video. So, see, I told you it's my favorite. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. All right, now we are looking at Joe. This is so cool. Joe sent two pictures of this same building from different uh, perspectives. Oops. Uh -oh. I'm having trouble finding. 
find it. I'll find it though. Here we go. Okay, so uh, this is Historic Cheney Hall, which is currently being used as a theater for small plays. This is this oh. is this is the top of it. Really pretty Nikon Z6 with the 2470 f4. Love the colors in this. And is is the next one the other picture yeah. of this? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. And this is the same building. I guess this area here is what's in this picture. Uh oh, the neighbor across the street is mowing the yard. So if y'all hear a lawnmower, that's what that is. Mm -hmm. uh, I like this picture a lot better than this picture, and I like this picture. So yeah. That, tells you something about how much I like this picture. Yeah, I really, really like yeah. this. Just the, the colors and the light. I like how it's kind of fading from bright light to darker as we go to the right. It's really nice. So thank you for those, Joseph. And let's see. TV. Yeah. All right, now this reminded both Heather and I of the former center area of Disney's Epcot theme park because they had all these, uh, like of, course they, of course they were mesh, not solid like this. And when I first looked at this, I thought it was like a, a representation of a sailing ship on land without the ship under it. Um, let's see. This is number one, made with the 105 f 2.5. Uh, that's the lens you got me for Valentine's Day, Heather. Oh, yeah. The 105 2.5 manual lens, 180th f 5.6. David's here. David Sailors? What's going on, David? Everybody liked your picture. Uh, but, I, you know, the light on it is cool. And uh, is that, what is that? Is that a bicycle parking area? Uh, perhaps, just the, and then there's picnic tables. It looks like it's a pretty big area just based on the size of that. I bet they could do concerts and stuff under that and all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's neat. And I like the red. Mm, red is good. Yeah, I like the red. All right. Thank you, TV. This is Ray. Uh, now, did you, Heather, did you say this was Patton Tower? Yeah, it looks just like Patton Tower. Okay, so Heather thinks this is Patton Tower, which is in downtown Chattanooga, and Ray made this at one forty-seven hundredth of a second with his phone and the Google Pixel is quite a camera so nice job and it is very pretty and everything is in focus it's just cool mm -hmm. that's a beautiful building I wouldn't want to live there but no. it's a but it is a beautiful beautiful building you know it was a hotel at one point yeah yeah back in the day yeah we should photograph that sometime yeah if just if we can figure out how to get the sunset behind it or something yeah for those who aren't familiar with the chattanooga area um it's pretty yeah it's a uh, this was a hotel in downtown and it sits right beside a really modern building now the edney yeah it's pretty all right now this is randy and Randy, uh, for some reason, your image, it wouldn't let me download it, so I just had to view it on the screen and do a screen grab to get it over here. But we got it. And this is Hot Springs, is MT Montana? Yeah. He made this with his D4 and the 24-70 F2.8G, one of my favorites. And it's just a pretty old barn with a beautiful, beautiful, big barn. It looks like it's really, really huge. And... Uh, Beautiful sky, beautiful clouds. I like it. Think there's any horses in there? Maybe. Or cows? Mm hmm. I would have liked to have seen Montana. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think about it, honey? It's pretty. I like the rolling hills in the background. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see there. That's why I asked you, because you'll find more stuff that I didn't see. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. All right, thank you, Randy. Here is Joy now. Uh, you know, do, do you know where that is? I bet Joy does. Joy, we thought maybe the building was painted this way, but look at the sky. I wonder if she desaturated that side. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Cause I don't know. 
Well, this is not desaturated. No, no, no. And that's not desaturated. And that's not desaturated. She says she said in her email where it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jasper, right. Tennessee. These buildings were taken in Jasper, Tennessee using the D7500 with the one lens to rule them all. High five. She did desaturate it. Did she? Yeah. I didn't notice until That's I was awesome, in post Joy. that the windows on the second floor of the gray building, there is no, there's a brick in the wall. Yeah, the, there's bricks behind this. Oh, yeah. So, Joy, did you desaturate the sky or this part or both? Stand oh. back. I don't know. It's cool looking. It's so cool. I mean, it looks like it was painted that way. Yeah. And I like it. I'm like, that building with the with the gray bricks on one side and the brick bricks on the other side, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, she says her secret. Oh. <laughs> okay. None of my business, but it's pretty. I like it. Great job on the photo, and it's a really interesting building. Yeah. It's really cool. Very nice. It reminds me of, like... I, at first, I thought it was the Saddlery downtown, which is an old mill, and it also looks um, kind of like the signal mill where um, food, works. food Works is. All right. Thank you, Joy. Now, where is this at, Joy? Oh, she said she desaturated everything and brought up the red. Ah, uh, oh, okay. So I that one, you. also in Jasper. Okay. I like that building. It looks like, uh, I guess it's a church, maybe? Yeah. I like the rock work on it. It's very pretty. It's nice architecture. <laughs> <laughs> These stones are cool. Yeah. Looks like we had some impact on this gutter right here. Yeah. I like it, Joey. Look at the, look how steep that roof is. How'd you like to get mm -hmm. up there and put the roof on that thing? Uh -uh. I'd fall off. Me too. I, <laughs> fall off and break your foot. Yep. <laughs> and my spine. Yeah. That's a really cool. Nice find, Joy. All right. Now, here she did it again. She's got us. <laughs> See, and this is why I think, yeah, no snow on that roof, Joe says. Uh, this is why I continued to think that, that this building's actually painted this color. Yeah. Because you did a great job on this edit, Joy. Yeah, really cool. Oh, and look, she's done her signature uh, because it's on a bright color. She's done it in black instead of white. Yeah, I do that too with mine. I'll invert it depending on the background color. Same building as the first one. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. All right, thank you, Joy. That's it. Is that the last one? That's it. All right, now I've got to, there's something I've got to try to figure out how to do here. Uh, first, let's remind you about David's live stream. David is doing birds, which is going to be awesome. I bet his, I bet his inbox is exploding. David, I'm only going to send you a couple, so, because I'm sure everybody's going to send you 50. <laughs> uh, your, your live screen is going to be four hours long. It's going to be awesome, though, because there are some great bird photographers out there. I mean, if Joy sends you any, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. let's see. Oh, you know what else I need to do? Let's go over here. Delete. And we will highlight the picture number one, hold down shift, hit the old delete key, and delete from disk. So we're going to say bye-bye to all of those. Oh. And I did that with, no, no, I, I had the right thing up there. All right, so our challenge is going to be a little tricky, but you can do it. Oops. Our challenge is going to be panoramas. And, uh, you know, with a panorama, you could either, I mean, what I'm actually looking for is one or more or, or two or more photos uh, stitched together. And, uh, oh, you can do it, Joy. You can do it. I'm going to show you how to right now. You can do it. All right, so we're going to go over here into Lightroom. And I think the 23rd was the day that we went and did pictures of the booby. So here's the picture from the 23rd. And we're going to enable filters. And we're going to... 
five star. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the the uh, uh oh. Well, remember we we did a virtual copy of one and removed some stuff. Yeah. Okay, so these are the photos that I made for my panorama that I used as my picture today. I held the camera vertical. Didn't even use a tripod, but it's recommended to use a tripod. You want to shoot manual so your exposure is not changing as you make your shots and you want to overlap the shot. So here's my first shot and then I went to the right. And you can see a lot of the stuff from my first shots in the second shot. Here's my third shot, a lot of the stuff. It's overlapping so you, you want your shots to overlap. Here's my next shot, here's my next shot, here's my next shot, here's my next shot, here's my next shot. So I took all of those photos, we'll go back to grid, and I highlighted those photos, number 15, 15 through number 26, and it's just like doing an HDR, which I know Joy knows how to do an HDR. You go to photo, photo merge, panorama. Click on that. It'll generate a preview, which takes some time and it'll especially take my computer some time to do that because we're live streaming from the same computer and those are huge files. So Heather and I are going to get a sip of, of beer while this thing's going. <laughs> um, you know, I probably overlap my photos more than is necessary, but I like to err on the side of caution because if you don't overlap enough, then you'll have a, a blank spot. All right, so I like to use perspective because uh, it keeps everything flat. And then the next thing to do is to click merge and that takes even longer. And let me see, for some reason, my picture has disappeared. Yeah, I've made it four stars. All right, so when I merged all those, what came up was not exactly this. Let's look under develop and we'll look at crop. What actually came up was this, this big craziness. See this weird looking shaped thing? And I took that and cropped it to uh, 17 by seven and made this as my panorama. And then, you know, of course I edited things to get the colors and, and lighting like I wanted. But that's all you got to do. It, it's not that hard. Take a few shots, do it manual so the exposure stays the same. Highlight them in Lightroom, photo, merge, panorama, and then once it outputs your panorama, which looks like this, just crop it to where it looks like a panorama and edit it and you're done. So easy, even I can do it. So that is the photo challenge for this week or for two weeks from today, panoramas. Uh, now, here's the thing. Sometimes panorama files can be really, really big. Uh, so I need you to try to, I'm not worried about the pixel size, but the, the file size, try to keep them down less than 10 megabytes. If you export it and it's, uh, and, and it's more than 10 megabytes, you probably need to export it again with a lower quality setting. So it'll be not quite so huge because like take a look at this Let's see here uh, 24 megapixels is 6,000 by 4,000 this is 13,661 by 5600 so this is a huge file uh, and when I exported this at pretty high quality it came out to be 18 megabytes so I exported it too big but if you were to they can't see your screen honey oh crap thank you whoops not that you big dummy left monitor yes thank you honey keeping me on my toes so mm -hmm. anyway 13661 by 5625 so when I went to export it file bye joy export oh all this training is for joy bye joy <laughs> uh, you can resize to fit or you can uh, let's see quality see I had my quality at 89 if I did my quality at, at like 60 that file would have been a lot smaller so that's the key but anyway that's the subject panoramas 
I know it's a little bit harder, but we've been doing this long enough to where we can step it up a little bit. And I'm really excited to see what you folks come up with. You know, like, uh, uh, here's another thing about panoramas. You know, you don't just do a panorama for the heck of it. You do a panorama when there's something that has a lot of information in the middle and, and, and stuff at the top and the bottom you don't need. That's when you might do a panorama. Or you do a panorama when at the furthest distance back you can get, you can't get the whole... Uh, you can't get the whole subject in the frame. So that's another reason to do a panorama. Like that's why I did this panorama of the fireworks store because with the lens that I had, I couldn't get the whole fireworks store in the shot. So I did a panorama and look at that. I got the whole thing plus some of the road. Joe said in Lightroom Export, you can scroll down. There's a resize setting and you can set that to be two or three megapixels and the file will be a good size to send. Bingo. Bingo. I mean, and you can even do 10 or 20 megapixels, just not the number of megapixels that this, <laughs> yeah, this, that monster. this monster is. So that's that's another way. But anyway, uh, two weeks from today, looking forward to the challenge of a panorama. Now, if you don't, if you can't get your panorama done, that cell phones will do a panorama built in. The Fuji X-T3 will do a panorama without even doing any kind of Lightroom mess. So any any sort of panorama. And if you just want to take a wide shot and crop the top and bottom off of it to where it looks like a panorama, that's fine too. But we are looking forward to your photos and we're looking forward to seeing you on September the 17th. You want to say bye-bye? Bye. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe and bye-bye. Bye-bye.